morning, beautiful people, and thank you for joining me. Quickly, I want us to dissect on an important issue that raised serious dust a couple of days ago and is still raising dust. This issue is about a woman that came out to do, through her music ministration, is trying to pass a message where she's trying to compare uh, the states and what they are known for, Imo states, Abia states, Anambara states, um, Imo states, and Ebony states. She tried to say what each of the states are known for. So at the course of that, she used a derogatory word on Imo states. She said Imo states. I don't like to say this word, but I don't have any other option. She said Imo states is known for a shower business. If you've not watched the video, I'm telling you now. A certain woman said that Imo states, she's made me, she said uh, what other states are known for, but this particular issue about Imo states is seriously raising dust, bringing about anger, argument upon argument, fight upon fight, people are taking it personal, emotions are rising, and so, on, so many other things ongoing because of this issue that this woman talked about, uh, because of this uh, message she passed to the public. So Imo State people are so angry that why will this woman say Imo State is known for a show business? Why will she say that? Now before I continue or before I lay my own submission, before I analyze, I go into analysis. I'm going to analyze my own version of what I believe about the video. But I want you to use your brain while you watch this video now. Whatever you must have dumped your brain, please go and pick up your brain for me. Pick up your brain, fix it in your head, and watch this video with an open mind. Do not take it personal. If you take it personal, that is your own detriment. Do not personalize whatever you are going to hear today. This video of mine is very, very serious. It's a very sensitive video. As sensitive as it's going to sound, it's a serious video. Do not take it personal. If you take it personal, you might be having nightmare. You might not sleep. But I'm only going to speak the truth. Because I'm known for the truth. I am not very good in covering crimes. I've never done that before and I don't intend to do it. All the time. When something is good, it's good. When something is bad, it's bad. No matter how hard you try to cover it, it's still going to be bad. So, back to business of the day. She said the most state is known for, in quotes, a shower business. So why did she say that? That is the question. And you that is reacting, why are you overreacting about the video? Why are you taking it so personal? The first question, I, I'm going to ask you all two questions. Number one question is, are you into a shower business? And number second, number two question is, is Imo State really known for that? And number three question, if I should add, is why must Imo State be known for that? That is the three questions. I leave you to answer the questions. Now, can I tell you all the truth? Do you want to hear the truth from me? Like I said, you must watch with an open mind and you must have a thick skin so that you don't quote me out of context so that you do not misinterpret me at the end of the day. Are you ready to hear the truth from me? Are you ready to hear my own version of the story or what I feel about the message? As of today, as of today, Imo states is not a good place to train a girl child. Did you hear what I said? I said today, Imo states is not a fantastic place to train your girl child. I'm going to do you another favor by repeating it the whole time. As at today, Imo states is not a ripe environment to train a girl child. Imo state could be disastrous. Imo state could be disastrous to train your girl child. I do not pray to train my girl child in Imo state. I will give you reasons. That is why I said as you're watching this video, you must be a matured person. You must watch with a matured mind. Not all of you that are ranting and talking rubbish on the media, in the media, writing because you know how to insult. You people are so, most of you are, edu are educated illiterates. You don't know how to do arguments. You don't even know how to criticize issues. You only know how to insult. When they said that Imo State is known for a shower business, you must search deep. That is why when you are, well, for some of you that even know what you did in school, that's why you do projects at the end of the day. You go for research. You ask questions. 
why must Imo State be known for our shower business? If you go to every state in the East, a lot of states have sex workers. It is not only in Imo States. Many states have sex workers hovering around every day. So why must Imo State be the headquarter? Why must Imo State have the badge? Why must Imo State have the logo? That is the research I expect you to go into. Not sitting down uh, and insulting and talking noises. Your noises is not going to stop what the person said. Your noises is not going to stop what happened, what is happening in Imo State. That rubbish you are talking on the phone will never stop the fact that Imo State is known for that. Even the, earth, the best of the earth can attest to that fact. It is not a good logo and we don't like it. And I'm not that kind of a person that will come out, maybe insult the woman or say a lot of things to the woman. I will only want to know why it is like that and pass a message where we have to stop that. If that is what Imo State is known for, then it has to stop. It's not a good name. It is not a good name. It's going to tarnish a lot of image in the state. And I know some people are scared because if you have a suitor and now it's all over social media that Imo State is known for a shower business, your suitor might be looking at you from the other side of his eye. I understand where you're coming from. But then we must, we must do a proper research. Is it that Imo State has a cause? Every other state has uh, sex workers. But why is it that even if people migrate from their state to Imo State, they want to do um, sex working in Imo State? Most men, when they travel outside the country, they come to Imo State. Imo State is like a dumping ground. Imo State girls are not valued. Or where they precisely, I'm not talking about Imo State in general. Or where they precisely, or where the girls, Kaipo Kwafa, or where the girls, O W E R R I, or where the girls, why must it be like that? Or where the girls are very beautiful, Imo State girls are beautiful. But why must they only be beautiful without having knowledge? When you go to Anambra, I've gone to Anambra before, you see hardworking ladies in Anambra. I'm not trying to say that Anambra and other states are perfect. But when you go to Anambra, you see women carrying ladies' machine, looking for work, going to marketplaces. You will see Anam Anambra women going to shop with their husbands where they are selling spare parts, where they are selling uh, machine spare parts, and motorcycle spare parts, and tricycle spare parts, that's KK spare parts. A number of women are very passionate in the aspect of business. But in most states, or where the precisely ladies have a problem to a fault. Serious problem, not just the girls, even their mothers. I don't want to go deep into that. Why must you be known for that? I do not like that logo, and I want to be one of those people that will have to stop it. Even when you don't want to be among the so-called clique, that's, there's a serious peer group and peer pressure going on in most states. Pair group and pair pressure. The pair pressure is we have to reach Dubai before we reach 25 years. We must have sugar daddy before we get to 26 years. We have to flex before we reach 27 years. We have to fill among. We have to do juju. Most of you men are inside bottle. Most of you men, your wives have locked you up inside the bottle because she's an away girl. Of course, that is the truth. She has locked you up inside a bottle. You don't have any other option. You are just there worshipping her. Like a slave, because that is what peer pressure is causing. This is a serious peer pressure thing. Peer pressure and peer group, everybody wants to feel among. They send you to school, you go to Dubai. They send you to school, you turn to a wrong girl. It's a common knowledge that when you tell anybody that I am enrolling myself, I want to go to one of the universities in Imo State, they see you as a wrong girl, as a potential wrong girl. Even some of you must have known what I'm about to say now. When you are, maybe you have exes or presently the person you are staying with. In one or two occasions, because you, you, you were born in Imo State, trained in Imo State, went to school in Imo State, you are seen as a potential runs girl. You are seen like you've done ransom before, you've gone into prostitution before. Because they don't take away the girls seriously. They take away the girls as a place where there's a lot of hungry. After all, they will have a lot of hotel. Once it's Valentine, we is headquarters for every fornication that is going on in Nigeria. Why? That are, those are the questions we should be asking. Once you are from Anambra or Abia State or Enugu State, and you start having click in Imo State, you are gone. It takes the grace of God and serious parental upbringing for you to get a child, a girl child from Imo State that has good standard in life, good morals, good behavior. It takes the grace of God and extra parental upbringing for your child to appear outstanding in the society once she's an away girl. It takes the grace of God. 
Why is that so? Other states are not perfect. Don't quote me out of context. And I am not trying to generalize. But majority of where the girls or where the women are into this business, they see Ronson as a serious business. When you go to Anambara, you will see a, a, a maybe Anambara man that is driving ladies' machine. You will see a girl on the road. Stop her, the girl will follow the man. Join the man in business. He will sit down in a bar, drink small stout. But when you see over a girl, she has started preempting what is in your pocket. She has started doing um, a lot of um, analysis. She has started checking how fat your pocket is. Wear singlet and go to a restaurant with your slippers. Call her over a girl, she will not listen to you. But take a walk to your car, drive and do pa 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 just two times. You might not waste your time to do the third one. Over a girl will turn. In most cases, the mother will even turn as well. She will turn because she's fascinated about the car. The peer pressure is bringing about a lot of bad attitude in your emo state. Owere. Gold digging job. It now appears that Owere girls are gold diggers. They don't joke with car. Even if the man is a ritualist, they follow the person. They are not interested in going to school to learn. They only go to school to do something. They sort and go to Dubai for vacation. And what happens afterwards, they are not aware of it. That is why it is like that and it has to stop. I don't know if it is a cause. I don't know if it's, a, it's an ancestral cause or whatever. But it's, it's not a good logo. So before you get angry, are you guilty of that? Because this reaction shows that you are guilty of that. We don't like it. It's not a good thing. It's not a good stain. It's a stain on the part of the um, Imo State indigents. It's a big stain, but it's, it's not good. Why is that so? So I am, I am seriously um, um, saying that if you are from Imo State or where precisely, why not try and adopt a little morals from at least Anambara, decent Anambara women? Do not personalize this video. And before you come to say, you are bringing confusion, you are trying to divide, uh, do division, you are mad. You are not really correct. You are not, your head is not really correct. When you see that thing, call it bad and stop closing evil. If you like, close it from now to tomorrow, that stain will be there. We do not like this stain. And as a matter of urgency, we want that stain to be removed from our name. Or where they should not be known for prostitution, or where they should not be known for a shower business. So when you are coming to Imo State, why not us know you for something else? Other people are inventing a lot of things. Creativity going on and on and on everywhere. Why must it be a shower business? Why must it be so? So if you are asked to go to school as an Owere girl, go to school and learn. Not when you are enrolled in school, you, are start, you start looking for fashion, your senses will start going from what it used to be before to somebody... To, to, to an animal, you start behaving like a goat, a goat that does not hear what, a goat that doesn't know when, when it's time to, when it's time to retreat and time to surrender. When you are asked to go to school, go to school and learn. When pay pressure start coming, tell them no. Once those pressures start, let us be among those people. Let us go and do juju so that we can hold a man. Let us go and get something. So most of you, the girls are even holding you inside bottle, even the, even the single guys. Let us, you say no. That Owere is known for a shower business and we have to stop it. We have to stop it. When that pressure come, you have to come a, a, a among yourself, have a meeting. Please, this is what we are known for. It is not a good thing on our side. What are we going to do to make sure that we are, we are, we, we, we are, not, we are not going to be known for that any longer? Every other person is calling us a shower. We have to stop it. And anybody that is coming migrated from their state to emo state to do something like that you resist the person that is what we call change change begins change starts from you and i it is not about coming out getting angry crying insulting you are a stupid person why will you call emo state a shower why will you do that why your insult will not change what it is your insult is not about beauty whether you are your beauty without brain is rubbish number one the peer pressure is making an average or where a girl to be a gold digger the peer pressure is making an average over a girl not to have good character, bad mannerism, bad manner, over materialistic. Okay. Bad character. You club a lot, you drink a lot, you don't read, you don't know anything, your brain is tabrarasa. 
Then at the end of the day, the bride price of an average female state person or wedded person is very, very high. Why should the person now marry when the price is high and you don't even have good character? I know that it's not a good thing, it's a stain, but please do not be discouraged by that word. Or where the girls are into Asha will not all over the girls, but majority of them, most of them are coming from other states. But like I said, there should be a great synergy between Owere, Anambara, Abia, Imo. All of you have a good forum on the, in the media, social media, where such narrative will change. Imo State should not be known for that. Anybody that is coming to dent the name of Imo State, the person must be resisted. The person should be asked to go. And that is where the change comes. That is where the change comes. And a couple of days or months coming, Imo State will not be known for that. And when we see change, we will know the change. And I will sit back and watch as this change come. And I'm going to help in this uh, crusade of change. Imo states will never be known for prostitution business. Thank you as you help me in this fight for change. God bless you.